Hi, welcome back to another video on Charlie's Nail Art Supplies YouTube channel. I'm Jo, one of Charlie's brand ambassadors. We are going to do a set today. Uh, we're going to use these two products. So we're going to do like an Easter themed set. They are, I will pull them out, some Easter egg Fimos. Look how cute they are. With a little teeny weeny pattern on so i would say looking at these there's two different patterns there is the blue light blue dark blue and purple with a stripe of green on and then there's the other one with the red on which is yellow green uh, dark purple and red and yellow so they're quite cute I'm not sure which one we're going to use yet. We might use some of both. I don't know. Or I might just use the the darker one. But they are so, so thin and so easy to encapsulate. I mean, look at that. They're ridiculously thin. So, yeah, so easy to put in some gel polish. So we're going to have a play with those. And we've also got these to have a little go with. They are little gold bunny heads. Oh, they're so cute. So these will go. I mean, you can you can encapsulate them because they're small enough, as in like height wise. But I think we're going to put these on the top, and we'll put them on with a little bit of gem glue. But you could encapsulate them as well. Sorry, I'm blinding you. I didn't realise I had you right up there. They're really cute. They've got little faces on them. So we're going to use both of those anyway. I've prepped some tips ready. I have put Umic White, which is U300, on the middle nail. And then we've got Venelisa number 87 on the two exterior nails. And then we've got Venelisa number 37 uh, on the ring and the pointer. So you've got a little bit of sparkle in this one, a little bit of a shimmer, which is why it looks slightly textured on the top of there what else have we got oh yes i've printed off a little bunny decal so we're going to use that as well that's going to go on the middle finger i think we're going to get that over and done with first so i'm going to pop some music over and i might also do a little bit of a voiceover as well at the same time so not 100 percent sure but yeah we'll get on with it we will Okay, I'm going to go to voiceover for the moment. Uh, we're just going to pop some water over the top of this decal that I've printed off. It's one of my own decals, so it is not a Charlie's Nail Art one, I'm afraid. It is of an Easter bunny, though. I'm going to leave that 10, 20 seconds just for it to slide off that backing paper. And then it's going to go straight on that white nail. And then that is going to just be put to the side for the moment. And next up we're going to tackle the FIMO eggs. So on the two purple nails, I'm going to put some base coat down and we're going to lay these eggs in the base coat and then pop that into the lamp uh, to cure for 30 seconds. That will hold those eggs in place. They won't move. You could use a little bit of nail glue if you prefer to use nail glue entirely up to you and then once that's out of the lamp as you can see they're not moving so we're going to go in with another layer of base coat on top uh, I'm sweeping that brush both ways so that the base coat goes up the sides of that those eggs going to go in the lamp again for 30 seconds and then on top of this we're going to put some tempered top coat now you can use normal gel polish top coat the only difference is with tempered top coat is it's slightly thicker viscosity and uh, it means if you've got it on your nail if you bang your nail anywhere you're less likely to break a nail you will literally bounce off whatever you knock your nail on <laughs> So once that's done, as you can see, they're pretty much encapsulated. There's only a slight bump 
So all I'm going to do now is going to go over with uh, a buffer and I'm just going to buff that surface just so I can get it a little bit flatter. And once they're both done, I'm just going to wipe them off with a little bit of alcohol, get that dust off there. And then I'm going to go back in just with some top coat and finish those off. And they should be nice and fairly flat then. I should show you any second. There you go. That's how easy they are to encapsulate. Um, I've pulled out some of Charlie's Mylar. I've got a purple and white in those dishes i'm just going to put some base coat down again on these uh pink nails this time well they're like a pinky lilac um so i'm just going to use my dotting tool no it's not my dotting tool it's the other end of the dotting tool <laughs> um it's the gem picker upper so i'm going to use the other end that was me that was looking at the other end of it um, we're just going to pop some of that into that base coat anyway and then pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Once that's cured, that will be stuck down. And once that's done, we're just going to go in with a layer of base coat on top. Pop those in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go in with that tempered top coat on top. Encapsulate it all. Now I could have just left them like that. But I'm quite picky. So I did actually carry on and um, do some buffing on it but they were encapsulated anyway, so. So we're just gonna give those a quick buff off. Now, obviously this is sped up slightly, um, so I don't actually work this quick. <laughs> so, yeah, if you think I'm going zooming like the Roadrunner, I'm not. It is because I've sped it up slightly. We're going to give those a quick wipe off, get that dust off. And then these are going to have the little bunnies on. So there's different ways you can attach them. You could put them in a little bit of uh, base coat again and then top coat round them. Or you could go straight in with your top coat and place them in your top coat which would keep them in place. Um, I'm actually gonna use some gem glue. So I'm just gonna put two little dots on there of gem glue, and then we're gonna pop two of those bunny heads on. Pop that in the lamp for a minute. And then I'm just gonna go in with matte top coat on these ones. I want them mat matted because the the mylar gives that iridescent effect um, if they're matte top coated instead of giving like the purple and the white effect. I'm just going to give those bunnies a little wipe over just to make sure I've not put any matte top coat over the top of them. And then those go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I've finally, I've got these little half pearls from Charlie's. So we're just going to put some of those pearls along the top of that white nail. And then that will get top coated as well. Um, if you want to buy any of the products that you've seen here today, please pop over to Charlie's Nail Art Supplies. So you're going to go to www.charliesnailart.co.uk. There is a 
uh, code on my mat, which I will put on the screen as well, which is JJTY10. Um, help yourself to that. It'll give you 10% off. I'll leave any links on that in the description box for you to uh, pop over there. And yeah, go and have a nosy. I've also, I'll show you in a second, I've encapsulated in nail varnish and normal top coat nail varnish, which I will show you which ones I've used. So I've used Barry M on the base of the nail. Then I've used glue, nail glue, just to glue those FIMOs on. And then I've just put a couple of coats of the top coat on, which is Revlon Diamond uh, Colour Stay Envy Top Coat which you can get from like Boots, Superdrug, that kind of places. And as you can see, they encapsulate beautifully. So you can even do them on natural nails. Right, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you've not already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.